Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the Georgia State University Alumni Association's third annual 40 Under 40 Awards program. I'm Dave Cohen, a 1994 graduate. You may also know me as the radio voice of the Panthers, broadcasting live Georgia State football, men's basketball, and baseball. The Alumni Association received over 250 nominations for the class of 2020, all of whom were carefully evaluated based on demonstrated impact in their field, philanthropic endeavors, and continued involvement with Georgia State. A tremendous thank you to the selection committee, composed of Alumni Association board members, campus leadership, and former honorees for their dedication to honoring the best of Georgia State. While we wish we could celebrate this outstanding group in person, we're excited to recognize and get to know those 40 under 40 alumni in a virtual environment. Unlike our previous awards ceremonies, tonight you will have the unique opportunity to hear from each honoree. In these personal messages, we will learn who and what inspires them every day, how 2020 has shaped them, and what words of wisdom they have for Georgia State students who will come to follow. Before we get started, I would like to take a moment to recognize those who generously have made the 40 Under 40 program a possibility. A special thank you to our sponsors for their continued commitment to celebrating and supporting our most distinguished alumni. Now I'm pleased to introduce Young Alumni Council member, 2019 40 Under 40 honoree and 2012 Andrew Young School of Policy Studies graduate, Jatisha Marsh. Jatisha serves as the Regional Human Resources Manager for DeKalb County Schools and is a dedicated community advocate and volunteer focusing on issues related to education, children, and the betterment of our community. She was a member of the 2015 Class of Outstanding Atlanta, 2014 Lead Atlanta Class, and a 2013 New Leaders Council Fellow. The Hope Street Group honored Jatisha in 2013 as National Teacher Fellow and in 2014, Jatisha was recognized as a leader under 40 by Georgia Trend Magazine and the Atlanta Business Chronicle. Jatisha, thank you for joining us this evening. Good evening. I have the honor and pleasure of introducing our university president, Dr. Mark Becker. During my Georgia State 40 Under 40 celebration in 2019, Dr. Becker stated his goal was to increase the value of our Georgia State degrees. In his 12 years at the university, Dr. Becker has done just that. During his tenure, the university has set records for enrollment, graduation rates, and total graduates. Need and merit-based scholarship funds distributed by the university have tripled since his arrival. The university has also set fundraising records. As a first-generation college student, who began his academic career at a community college, he was perfectly poised and prepared to oversee the consolidation with Georgia Perimeter College. While Dr. Becker will recognize 40 Under 40 honorees tonight, he is worthy of honor as well. Washington Monthly named him among the most innovative college presidents, and he received the Academic Leadership Award by the Carnegie Corporation. When you travel through downtown Atlanta, you will see the revitalization spurred by Georgia State. You are viewing part of Dr. Becker's legacy. Under his tenure, we have been given a football team and so much more to cheer for. Tonight, we should also cheer for Georgia State's president. This year will be Dr. Becker's last Georgia State 40 Under 40 celebration. On behalf of the Georgia State University alumni, I want to thank you for your service. You have given us your best and we wish you well. Without further ado, I present the president of our Georgia State University, Dr. Mark Becker. Good evening. Tonight, we gather to celebrate 40 outstanding Georgia State alumni who are making a difference in their communities, both locally and around the world. Indeed, these graduates are paving the way for the future of Georgia State through their leadership in business, civic engagement, scholarly research, arts, entertainment, media, education, and philanthropy. Tonight, we honor and celebrate the most influential and innovative graduates who make Georgia State University shine. 
Tonight's honorees come from every college at Georgia State, and nine of them represent multiple colleges and hold multiple degrees. The fields from which tonight's honorees come are impressive. Among them, a Grammy Award-winning producer, a space scientist, an NFL kicker, an actress, and a U.S. Foreign Services officer. On behalf of the entire Georgia State University family, congratulations to all of tonight's honorees. And now, on with the awards. Dave? Thank you, Dr. Becker. The past year has truly been unlike any other, and this group of outstanding alumni has shown us what it means to overcome the challenges of our time. We look forward to celebrating with you all in person in the future, but in the meantime, we hope that tonight you will be able to take this opportunity to celebrate with those closest to you, both near and far. So sit back, relax, and let's get to know the class of 2020. Lindsay Grissard, School of Public Health, class of 2012. During her time at Georgia State, Lindsay successfully climbed and summited Mount Rainier with Georgia State President Mark Becker and a group of 10 other faculty, staff, and alumni. Following graduation, Lindsay worked as a program evaluator for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, where she was a Presidential Management Fellow. She discovered a love for environmental policy issues, particularly those with a connection to human health, and has since moved to Washington, D.C., where she is a permanent staff for the Committee on Natural Resources and the U.S. House of Representatives. Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay, saying hello to you from our nation's capital up in Washington, D.C. So the person who was most impactful on me while I was at Georgia State was definitely my professor, thesis chair, and mentor, Dr. Monica Swan. And she taught me a lot, but by far the most important thing she taught me was how to recognize my value as a professional woman. And now that I'm up here on the Hill working for the House of Representatives, I feel so lucky to be here while we have the highest number of women and the highest number of women of color in Congress in history. And of course, we have our first female Black and Asian American Vice President. But I know that the diversity of our government leaders and its staff still does not represent the diversity of the American people. So I feel so grateful to have the lessons from Dr. Swan to help me remember how to lift my own voice, but to also help me amplify the voices of the other women that I work with until we have the full representation that we deserve. So I just wanna say thank you to Dr. Swan, thank you to Georgia State for everything it's given me over the years, and congrats to the other 39 honorees. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Here's to your collective successes today and tomorrow. We can't wait to see what's next for you. Tonight, we recognize 40 individuals whose ambitions and achievements are shaping the future of Georgia State. Your contributions continue to make Georgia State a better and stronger university. Most importantly, you are role models, setting an example for our current students of what it means to be a proud Georgia State graduate. You inspire all of us each and every day. We're beyond proud that you are members of the alumni family. Let's also take the opportunity to thank those who have encouraged and supported our 40 Under 40 honorees throughout their journey. Family members, fellow alumni, and faculty, to name a few. This fall, we will begin the process of identifying the class of 2022. We hope that many of you will consider nominating an alumnus who is redefining success by pushing boundaries and creating lasting legacies. Congratulations again to the 2020 class of 40 under 40. May you continue to shine bright among the constellation of Georgia State alumni who came before you and those who have yet to follow.